This is a hospital that was already short staffed before the nurses strike. So how are they able to meet the needs of their patients this week? They answered some of our questions. What do we want? More than a thousand nurses who would typically be running around inside this Everett Hospital. This week can be seen marching around outside of it. And as day turned to night, the ones on the front lines, the picket line turned into a rally. I've worked with you for 15 years. Where nurses like Juan Stout said they've had enough. They're not meeting our standard. With picking up the slack. It's just a trickle down effect. When there aren't enough nurses. I know myself on a typical 12 hour shift, I get a 115 minute break and my lunch sometimes. He says he's overworked. But without RNs like Stout this week. I'm really pleased to reassure you that uh, Prop Everett remains open and continues to operate smoothly. Executives tell King 5 they've managed to usher in hundreds of fill-ins from elsewhere in the hospital system. We have admitted 177 patients. These volumes actually reflect uh, our normal operation. But executives say they do look forward to Sunday morning when the strike is over. Current operations would not be sustainable on a long-term basis. Stout's response is less than sympathetic. We could have bargained 10 days straight if that's what it took to get things done so that we didn't come to this point. I love you all. Let's get this done. One big thing the striking nurses are asking for is more money. In order to stay competitive with area hospitals, they're asking for a 30% increase over the next three years. Hospital executives are offering 21.5% as an increase. Reporting in Everett, I'm Maddie White, King 5 News.